Hey there guys, Portal Master here, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing something that's been bothering me for a while in the Skylanders community, and it is the suggestion that Activision can simply make another Skylanders game pretty much at the drop of a hat. Now, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, what I mean is this. A lot of people in the community have seemed to suggest that for Activision to create another Skylanders game would be as simple as just saying, okay, Toys for Bob or okay, Vicarious Visions, go make a Skylanders game. And while, yeah, technically that's all it would really take to make a Skylanders game, there's actually a lot of reasons that Activision can't just do that. And I'm going to be talking about why that is. So, if you're at all really understanding of what Activision is, Activision is in and of itself a publishing company. That means that Activision isn't the one who makes the games. They contract others to make games for them. For Call of Duty, it's stuff like Infinity Ward and Treyarch. For Skylanders, it was Vicarious Visions, Toys for Bob and Beanox. For Spyro and, um, you know, for, yeah, for Spyro, it's Toys for Bob. And then for Crash Bandicoot, it's Vicarious Visions. So they've got these development studios, which is what those things that I just said are and then they themselves are a publishing studio. They're two very different things. Just like the people that publish and distribute and print a book are not the same people as the author of the book. It's two different people. It's a complex system that goes on. So when Activision wants a new game, they essentially go to the executives. The executives sort of talk over what they think would be a good investment for the company. Then they send people to the development studios. They are in talks with the development studios. And then eventually they contract with the development studios to actually produce a game for Activision. Now, currently there are essentially two or maybe three, depending on how you look at it, development studios that Activision uses for their kids' franchises, which at one point did include the Skylanders franchise, and that is Toys for Bob, Vicarious Visions, and then sort of kind of Beanox. Now, as I just said earlier, we've got Toys for Bob pretty much hard at work at Spyro stuff, and we've got Vicarious Visions and Beanox working on Crash Bandicoot, and recently Beanox was actually involved in the development of Crash Team Racing, which was why I sort of threw them in there. So we've got the two development studios that were actually in charge of making Skylanders in the first place tied up with other things right now. Now, we have not really gotten a very clear idea of where Activision plans to go in the mid to distant future. We know that they just are off the, the, they're basically hot off the heels of the Crash Team Racing release. They just, you know, they're in the process of getting Spyro out on the Switch. I can't remember if it's out yet or not. Um, either way, it is coming to the Switch, and we currently know that that's pretty much their, their short-term stuff. Focus on a little bit of Crash Team Racing stuff, and then, of course, get Spyro out on the Switch, get all that launched. Once they've done all of that, then we don't really know where Activision is going long-term with their franchises. I guess, again, we do know that there is another Call of Duty game in development, but we also know that they lost Destiny, and we know that they'll probably want to replace that with some new thing, or else investors are going to say, oh, Activision is kind of going downhill. My point is, is that despite not really having a clear indication of where Activision is going mid to long term, what I can probably say is for sure going to happen is that they're not going to go away from Crash and from Spyro. Currently, those games are all doing really, really well. The Insane Trilogy, that did really well. The Reignited Trilogy also did pretty darn well. And then you take a look at Crash Team Racing, which I'm not sure the exact sales, but I heard it did pretty well. So the thing is, why would Activision stop making Spyro and Crash stuff as of right now? So as long as they're continuing to do that, they're not going to pull those franchises from the developers that have done them right in the past. Essentially, what I'm saying is that because Vicarious Visions and Toys for Bob and kind of Beanox 2 did such a great job with the remasters, Activision has no reason to take those properties away from them and give them to a new developer. They have no reason to do that. And they don't really have a reason to give Skylanders to anybody else. If you understand what I'm saying, 
would it really be a Skylanders game, do you think? Do you think it would be the same style, the same art, you know, true to its original self, if it wasn't Vicarious Visions or Toys for Bob developing a Skylanders game? They pretty much worked on it from the beginning, from 2011 to its decline in 2016. They were pretty much in charge of the whole shebang. So Activision would probably never give it to another game developer that wasn't the two of them. And if you just recall what I said, they're currently busy with Crash and Spyro. Now, obviously, there is a chance that, you know, Activision was just one and done with Spyro. They're just doing the trilogy. They're not doing that. There's no way. There's no way that they're not. And same thing with Crash Bandicoot. A lot of people are wondering what could come next for that, whether it be a Crash Bash game or another, you know, remaster of an old Crash Bandicoot game or even a new one. We really don't know. Same thing goes for Spyro. We really don't know what's coming next for him either. But their kids' franchises right now are essentially Crash and Spyro, not Skylanders. And as much as it pains me to say it, the amount of work that would be required, the, what it would sacrifice on Activision's end to bring back Skylanders would be either Crash or Spyro, honestly. Or delaying both games, giving all of Crash and Spyro to one development studio, and then just saying the other to the other one, bring back Skylanders. That's probably not happening. So, while I do think, and I still do think this, Skylanders will someday make some type of a return just because of the fact that th there's so much that went into this. There's so much that went into the creation of this franchise. And I still stand by this every time I make videos like this, but there isn't a reason for Activision to never bring Skylanders back. It's just too big of a franchise, it, or it was at one point too big of a franchise to just never, ever bring back. So I genuinely think they will. But they're going to have to do something interesting in order to bring it back while Spyro and Crash are still pretty much at the height of their resurgence right now. It's trickier than people think to just shift development around, and that's why it's going to be harder for Activision to ever bring back Skylanders than a lot of people really think it will be. Because they're going to either have to give one of their franchises to a studio that's never had it before, or they're going to have to sort of delay both of them in that, you know, say, again, what I was saying earlier with Vicarious Visions taking over, like, Crash and Spyro and then Toys for Bob doing Skylanders, we would be seeing delayed release schedules. And I really don't see them doing that. So the only solution, really, is for Skylanders to not come back until either the Spyro and Crash resurgence has run its course or the alternative is that one of these gets handed to a new developer. Maybe that's why they did that with Beanox. Maybe that's why they brought Beanox in for Crash Team Racing. Maybe at some point they'll actually take over one of these franchises. Be interesting to see. I don't have the answers. No one really has the answers as of right now. But this is just something that I wanted to highlight to you guys because it's something that I've been seeing in a lot of places and I wanted to bring attention to it. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Tell me what you think about this down in the comments below if you have anything, any thoughts you'd like to share. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. This has been Portal Master and I'll see you guys next time.